Hey, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I want to show you how to connect a custom domain to your Webflow project. And this is what we are going to do. So you can see in your new Webflow project here that um, I don't have a custom domain connected yet. It's just the staging domain up here that is shown and every Webflow project has the staging domain, but obviously we want to have our own custom domain. And to, to, to use a custom domain in your project, you need to have a paid Webflow plan. So uh, make sure to upgrade in your billing section first, or uh, the plans section, and then you can actually add your custom domain. So what we want to do is we go to publishing and then we need to do a couple of things. So first of all, we need to go to the production tab here and add the custom domain. Um, depending on where your domain is hosted, so for example, GoDaddy, Namecheap or any other provider, um, you can either quick connect your domain or you can always also add it manually. And this is what we are going to do because this will work for all of the providers. And in our case, our domain is at Namecheap and you need to have access to your Namecheap account to actually add these DNS settings. And as you can see here, now the domain is added, but we need to connect our Namecheap account to our actual Webflow account. So in Namecheap itself, you go to your domain list and then you will have the advanced DNS settings. And the DNS settings here is something that you will have for um, yeah, basically all of the domains that you have, but also on each of the providers. And we now need to transfer these settings to um, oh yeah over to um, Namecheap here. So we start with the text type here and then we go to the DNS settings and here we go to the host records section. First of all, we are just going to delete the two ones that are here right now. And then we are going to add one. And in this case, it will be a text record. So we will add the Webflow as a host here as it is shown, Webflow. So this is the host and then the value we paste the value in. TTL means time to live. So how long will it take to uh, get this live? You can either choose automatic. So, uh, or in our case, I want to have one minute. Second up, we need to use the A records. So the A records basically point to the server or the IP address of where the Webflow website is hosted. And in the end, it's always about connecting these two. So we also choose this one and we also want to have one minute here. And as Webflow has different IP addresses, we also need to add the second one. And now, as you can see, it's a, it's a really, really easy thing to do. We can also change this to one minute. Um, and uh, besides the domain, the main one, verticalhub.co here, um, you always need to connect also the subdomain because in the technology of how the internet and domains are built, the www is considered a subdomain and it's not the same domain as vertical hub here. So you always need to make sure that you A, um, choose one as the default option so that Google doesn't see it as duplicate content and B, you always need to make sure to also connect that one. So we are using the C name record here and we are going in, we are adding the C name for the subdomain www. And then we just paste in the proxy from Webflow and now everything is done. So the thing here is now populating these DNS records from your domain can take up to 24 hours. In most cases, it will just take a couple of minutes, but it can take some time. So be a little bit patient once you click verify here, because it can either be, as in my case, uh, work right away. Um, or it can take a little bit of time. So for example, here the www is still not populated. So I will check the status again. And we will wait a second till this one is also solved. Okay, so now we can see that also the subdomain is um, um, populated and the DNS records are correct. So everything is fine. And now I can choose which one, which of the domains we want to have as, as a default. So in our case, the www. And now, as you can see on publish, you can publish your website to the web here, uh, to the selected domain. And this is how you connect a custom domain in Webflow. If you want to learn more about Webflow, marketing, Figma and these things, make sure to follow our channel for more and see you in the next video.